What's going on YouTube? This is Simi Price Film. And today I'm going to show you how to easily add lens flares to a shot in Premiere Pro. Now lens flares sometimes appear naturally in a shot. Um, it, it depends on what lens you're using, your angle, your lighting, so on and so forth. In this particular shot, there's some glow coming off the lights behind the subject, but it doesn't have the type of lens flare that I'm looking for. So instead I'm going to add it to the shot. I'm using an overlay pack that I got off YouTube for this video. It's 100% free. Um, I got it from this channel, What You Need To Edit. So, shouts out to them. And I'll leave a link to the video in the description. It's important to make a lens flare look natural. And in this clip, I have a light set up behind the subject. So the first thing I'm going to do is look for the first part I could visibly see the light. The reason why I'm looking for this is because I want to line up the actual lens flare to where the light is. Then I'm going to find a part in the lens flare clip that I like and I'm going to mark it in and then I'm going to mark it out. Next thing I'm doing is dragging it on top of the clip and notice how it doesn't fit the full video so I have to size it up in effect controls and then I'm going to go down to opacity and change the blending mode to screen. Adding a lens flare to a video might not sit right in the first try, so you might have to continually resize it, changing the position or the scale. I noticed how the timing wasn't right with the lens flare, so I moved it back a couple of seconds. In the effects panel, I typed in cross evolve, clicked and dragged it to the beginning of the clip so that the lens flare fades in as the light behind the subject comes into shot. The light then moved out of view from the shot, so I went over to effect controls again and added a, cro and added a cross dissolve to the end of the clip and dragged it down. The light then reappeared in the shot behind the subject. So I'm gonna add another flare. I don't wanna use the same exact flare two times in a row. So I'm finding a different flare that I like from the video. And I'm again marking in and out. Then I'm dropping on top of the clip, rescaling and repositioning it, and then going down to opacity and changing the blending mode to screen. I noticed how the lens flare looked a little bit too bright, so I brought the opacity down just a little bit I then added a cross dissolve and the cross dissolve was too long so I clicked and pulled it to the left and made it shorter. I then added another cross dissolve to the end of the flare. As I move on to adding a third lens flare to the clip, I'm just basically going to recap. So first, you want to look for a part on your clip where you want to add a flare. Second, you want to choose which flare you want to use and cutting out a certain section. Third, you want to click and drag your lens flare clip from the project panel and put it on a video track above your clip that you're adding the flare to. Then you want to go to effect controls and change the position of the scale of the flare. Under opacity, click the dialog box where it says normal and select screen. Then under the effects panel, type in cross dissolve, click and drag it to the beginning of the lens flare clip and then click and drag it again to add a cross dissolve to the end of the clip. And boom, that is how you add lens flares to a clip in Adobe Premiere Pro. If you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions, uh, make sure to drop it down in the comment section below and make sure to subscribe.